<laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and oh my god, do I have some awesome stuff to share in this video. So, as you can tell from the title, this is going to be three tips or tricks or glitches, however you want to classify them, I don't really care. That will make the oppressor just amazing. Like, even better than it already is. And these are so fun. I don't think they're super overpowered. I mean, maybe you might disagree because you're not like invulnerable, you're not a god you're not like in god mode or anything you can still die you can people can still shoot you you can still get blown up so it's not like super op it's just so much fun to to use the oppressor with with these glitches or with these tricks with these tips so hopefully by the end of this video you feel the same way and you enjoy and all that if you do i'd appreciate it if you drop it a like now this first one i've actually shown it to you guys before so some of you may know this but i wanted to put it in here just because if used properly if you combine it with the other two new ones that I have for you guys, then it just, it makes the experience much better. So the first glitch or the first little trick I want to let you guys know about is the Rockstar Editor Oppressor glitch. Now I'm going to quickly run through this because I did do a separate video on it. Basically what it allows you to do is make your oppressor lighter, which doesn't really make much sense, but for some reason doing this makes your oppressor lighter, which means it can fly higher, it can fly further, and it's, I don't know, whatever. It just makes the flying experience better. Just know that. It's really easy to do once you you know decide to get on GT line first load up story mode load up single player then go to the rockstar editor pick any clip I just picked a clip of me on the oppressor then what you're gonna want to do is like scroll a few seconds into it hit a to change the camera angle and then hit the select button or whatever it is to save that's the most important thing you're gonna want to save it on that screen and then from here just back out go back to single player hit exit to story mode and then start up a gt online lobby now i'm not entirely sure because i forget if you switch lobbies if this still sticks or not it might it might not but whatever for the lobby you're in it'll be working and again what that does is just make you fly a lot better a lot smoother so that's the first thing the next thing so in combination with that what we're gonna do is a glitch trick whatever you want to call it that actually does not let you fall off your oppressor. This works for any bike, but for this video, I'm gonna show you guys the oppressor. This by far is one of the greatest things ever because it is so much fun to just run into people, run into NPCs, into buildings, do all kind of crazy stuff, and then not fall off. So it's really easy to do, and I believe there are two methods. I'm only gonna show one because I think it's the easiest. All you're gonna need is an oppressor or any bike, then you're gonna need an MOC, with the appropriate bay so if you're using the oppressor you're going to want the vehicle workshop but if you're using any other bike i believe you're going to have to use a vehicle storage option i'm going to go ahead and assume a lot of people just have the vehicle workshop though so this is mainly going to work for the oppressor but i feel like that's the main bike you want this on anyway so you put the oppressor you know park it inside or bring it inside your moc and then get off of it but don't actually leave your moc so at this moment as my character is you should be inside of your moc while looking at your bike now from here this is where the two methods sort of differ i am going to show you guys the heist method but i believe this also works if you call martin and have him give you a mission but as you can see i'm going to go on my phone and i'm going to go to the lester setup heist mission now what this is going to do is actually teleport me back to my apartment and once i get in the little like heist screen i'm just going to hit b and that puts me back into my apartment in the same lobby i was just in so it's not like you're going to switch lobbies or anything. If you're doing this, the Martin method, I think it puts you into a, a game loading screen or something, or like a game lobby loading screen. And I think from there, you just back out and it should work the same way. It just is not going to put you in your apartment. But once you are done all that, just go outside and call your bike, either from the mechanic or the motorcycle club. And it may look normal, but that's the only thing that's the same. Because once you get on it, you're never going to fall off. It's so much fun because, as you can see, I'm just messing around here on my oppressor, doing flips, hitting people, hitting walls, not falling off. And again, combining this with that first glitch, which makes you fly further and lighter and higher and all that, you can do some really cool stuff and not have to worry about dying. And I feel like the oppressor is, like, that's one of the downsides to the oppressor. If you accidentally hit something like a building or someone or a car or something, you know, you go flying off and you'll die and it's just, it's kind of annoying. It's not really like, 
a super negative, but it's just, it's an annoyance that's going to waste, you know, 10, 20 seconds of your time when you could be doing a bunch of other cool things in online with the oppressor. So having the not fall off glitch is pretty awesome. Now I do want to say your bike can still blow up. So even though you can't fall off, the bike can still blow up. You can still get shot. I mean, I can't demonstrate that because no one was in my lobby, but you can still get shot. You can still get blown up. So again, this isn't like super God mode or anything. It just, it makes it to where you don't fall off when you hit things. Also, if you do end up dying, I believe the glitch resets. So then you're gonna have to do it again, unfortunately. However, if your bike blows up and you don't die, the glitch is fine. So like you can just constantly call bikes over and over again without having to worry. I actually did that once because my bike, the oppressor, I like slammed it into a wall going super fast and you can see it's like super smoking. So I was like, all right, let me just call up a new one on my motorcycle club. Boom, got a new one. Everything's replenished and the glitch still works. I still don't fall off. And after just those two things, you're probably like, all right, that's really cool, man. Like not falling off the oppressor and then flying a little bit better. That's you got me, but no, we're not done yet. It gets even better because, and I don't know why this is actually the case, but at this one specific location, you can actually bring back the anti-gravity speed glitch, I guess for the bike. I don't really know what you would call it. I'll leave the link to the founder in the description, but basically if you guys remember a few months, maybe even years ago, there was this glitch that you could do in races and stuff where if you held back on a bike while you're on a motorcycle, you could basically endlessly fly around the map because for whatever reason you gain altitude instead of losing it just by like wheeling and rockstar did eventually patch that but now it's back for the oppressor and again i don't know why this works only in this location but you can see on the map here i'm kind of by the gas station down here by the you know by the canals i guess and we're gonna go ahead and hop on the roof as i'm on and there's actually a little smaller roof right next to it and it's red with a bunch of ac units on it now this is really simple because all you need to do is pop a wheelie as you're going off like the edge of it and then boost. And for whatever reason, that activates the glitch. And now you'll see my oppressor can fly endlessly by doing wheelies by going upside down. So just by combining all three of these tricks, I had so much fun for like the 20 minutes I spent in my lobby just flying around. Because after I did them all, not only could I fly further, higher, better, I would not fall off and I could stay in the air for an endless amount of time. It's just, it's so much fun. And like I said, I really don't think this is overpowered because what does flying, you know, give you? I mean, yeah, you have maybe access to uh, staying in the air longer or something and you can maybe shoot people, but again, you can still be shot at, you can still be shot down. So it's not like you're super God mode or anything. It's just so much fun. So I hope, I'm hoping this stuff doesn't get patched, but you know, we all know Rockstar, who knows? So definitely get your fun in while it lasts, but this is some of the most fun I've ever had with the Oppressor, and this is why I would totally recommend the Oppressor if you have not purchased it already. One thing I will let you guys know about the third glitch, the one where you can gain unlimited altitude or whatever, if your wheels actually touch the ground, you will lose this glitch, so just know that. So you're gonna have to go back to the gas station spot and then do it again, which I think is really easy, so it's not like it's that big of a deal if you lose it. But the benefit of doing the not falling off your bike glitch is that you can use the flying upside down glitch to basically propel yourself off the ground by using your head. Look what happens here. I'm quickly approaching the ground and I thought, oh damn it, man, I messed this up. You know, I'm gonna have to do this again. But lo and behold, I bounced off my head and continue going. Like, and I gained more altitude by doing the upside down stuff. So it's just, it's so much fun. I was not expecting that. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this and you know you, you can go super fast with this as well if you want to quickly you know move across the map because if you sort of lean and go forward and then really backwards you sort of you know gain some speed you can mess around with it a little bit more obviously if you're a better skilled driver or biker or oppressor driver flyer whatever you want to call it then you could probably do a lot more cool stuff with this but oh my god is this so much fun and i wanted to let you guys know about it because these three tips, tricks, glitches, again, whatever you want to call them, made my time in the lobby while recording this an absolute blast. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you do this, you know, maybe link up with your friends so you all could be flying around and doing some crazy stuff in online. Maybe see who can last the longest up in the air or something. But yeah. Oh, also with that last glitch, in order to turn, if you want to turn, just pop out your wings. And that's the benefit of obviously having the oppressor. If you want to, you know, if you passed up where you're going, you want to turn around, you really can't turn around while doing the wheelie thing. 
So just, you know, pop your, your wings on the oppressor, turn around, and then go upside down again, and you'll gain altitude and speed. So super simple, super easy. If you have any questions, you know, ask away in the comments, but this is awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please drop the video like if you did, and subscribe for more awesome GTA content. But that is it, so thank you all, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.